Probably the first thing that we must uh, decide is uh, when we think that the embryo is of a good quality, because that is very different depending on the age <clears throat> of the patient. If the patient is young, probably there is going to be a good correlation between morphology and genetics, and any embryo with a good morphology should be considered of good quality. But if the patient is 42, 43, most of the embryos that uh, are going to look great in terms of genetics, AA, AB, BA, may also have genetic issues. So the first thing is when the embryos look great and they don't implant, take in count the age of the patient and check whether the embryos have been genetically tested or not. If you are sure that the embryos are of good quality, either because the patient is young or because the embryos have been genetically tested, then there could be issues on the endometrium side or on the body of the, of the mother. So this could mean that the endometrium is not absolutely prepared for letting the embryo implant. It could happen that the patient may have some problems related with coagulation, related to uh, in immunology, for example, an antiphospholipid syndrome. It could happen that the environment and the, uh, the endometrium is not the, the best one because there are an endometritis or a chronic infection or even the microbioma of the of the endometrium may not be the good uh, or the perfect one and this is always going to make things much more difficult for the embryos to implant so in any case the first thing that we need to do is confirm that the embryos are of good quality and if they are then go and study the endometrium the body the patient to see if there is anything on her side that may be uh, impacting negatively and impacting the outcome